right, I'm Sage Wanderer, and I'm coming at you from my van down by the river. So, yeah, I'm ready to pretty much uh, proclaim that there is absolutely a cover-up about the true nature of what happened in Las Vegas. I think at this time, at this point, if you're uh, still believing the ridiculous story that's that's the mainstream media and the authorities' story on this, that uh, yeah, you're never going to be convinced of anything, even if we produced, you know, another suspect who you know had fingerprints and every. You're just not going to believe any uh, evidence because a cover-up is obvious. Now. Apparently, I'm hearing reports that witnesses who won't shut up about what really happened, especially at the other casinos around the Strip uh, on the night of the shooting, are being, you know, they're perfectly healthy, they're perfectly well, and they're just mysteriously showing up dead. So, this is very much akin to what happened to witnesses after the John F. Kennedy assassination and during that investigation. That pretty much anybody that could, could, could contradict the government story was being killed. Now, I'm not anti-government. I'm pro-government. And um, the thing is, is that our government isn't one cohesive thing with one head and one mind. It's a lot of splintered groups of uh, bureaucrats that uh, are protecting their position and also working with globalists to manipulate the system, the rules, the laws, the way they're enforced. And so, yeah, there are good and bad in our government, just like there are good and bad in churches and good and bad in clubs and good and bad of the left and the right. So, but it's perfectly clear to me <laughs> that we're definitely experiencing a, co a cover-up. You know, these last couple of press conferences have really just been uh, entirely geared at, at convincing you to accept the story with no evidence. They're not going to give you any more. This is the evidence. Go away now and do as we say. And uh, it's quite disturbing to see it. You know, who is this FBI creep that stands behind the sheriff at these uh, press conferences. Don't watch the sheriff. Watch that guy. Clearly, he's there in an intimidatingly close fashion, looming over this sheriff, making sure he toes the line, making sure he says the talking points he's supposed to say. There are reports now that the sheriff is being uh, threatened by the FBI. So, I'm pro-America, but I have big questions about the Federal Bureau of Investigation um, because they're, they seem to be at war with Donald Trump, and they seem to be at war with our pres president, and they seem to have an agenda that is not in line with the American people or our elected government. And, um, yeah, I'm in big favor of investigating and reforming the FBI. But like anything else, there's good guys and bad guys mixed in there. So, yeah, it's definitely being manipulated. This is the new conspiracy theory. We will never hear an end to this unless something bigger happens that's even fishier, which I suspect will occur. But, yeah, it's the new conspiracy theory, and everyone's got an opinion, but I think only the really ignorant and the people that are trying to deceive you actually believe there was a single shooter. Come on. There's just too much evidence. Listen to the police scanners. You've got reports in multiple hotels of active gunmen on different floors of different hotels while this is all going on. Yeah, wake up and smell the coffee, America. Not much we can do about it. You know, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, they can't silence us all. They can't make us stop talking about it any more than we, you know, they could make us stop talking about JFK or 9-11. We're going to talk about this forever until the truth is known. And that may never happen. So, yeah, don't hold your breath if you're hoping for a nice little resolution to this. That, you know, they're going to come out with the truth because it ain't happening.